السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه الطيبين الطاهرين وأصحابه المكرمين المعظمين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في مقام آخر فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا صدق الله العظيم رب الشحري صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وآله الكرام وابنه الكريم وبارك وسلم عليك الصلاة والسلام We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of all the worlds, the most affectionate, the most merciful, the most kind for every single favor, bounty, ni'mah which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us we send peace, salutations, blessings upon his most beloved Nabi, last of the messengers, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam we send blessings upon our Nabi's entire household, his Ahli Bayt Atahar we send blessings upon his all the companions and we send blessings upon every single believer who have died in the state of Iman. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us goodness, ease, health, Iman in this dunya. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us from all kind of calamities, disease, sickness and major sins. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us Jannah, Maghfirah in hereafter. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. A beautiful series, we have started major sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with some do's and don'ts. He has granted us guidance in the form of Quran, alhamdulillah. And if we read Quran, we will get to know that in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us several times to do few things. And in Quran, we do see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stopped us to do a few things. This was called Muharramat means Manhiyat means don'ts. <laughs> things which are completely not allowed in Sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said several times and that's how we know that as a believer it's our duty in terms of Sharia that we do act upon Faraiz of Islam and we do stop ourselves from any kind of haram stuff. That is known as major sins. And it is important because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you do stay away from major sins, then I will take care of your minor sins. If you do make sure that you stay away from kabair, major sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then I will forgive your minor sins. And I'll grant you a beautiful place to live and that is Jannah, Alhamdulillah. So when we talk about major sins, Alhamdulillah, so far we have spoke about uh, 32 or 33 major sins. Today, inshallah, Rahman will talk about the next one that is very, very important and that is Riyah. Riyah, Sumaa, known as pride, arrogance, show off. Actually, pride and arrogance is part of Riyah. But the actual riya means uh, showing off any kind of ibadah, worship, action we do just to seek attention from people. 
just to get appreciation from people, just to let everyone know, look, this is what I have done. When we do anything to show off, not having a pure intention, this is known as riya, and it is absolutely haram and uh, 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 known as you know major sin. May Allah subhanahu wa taala protect all of us. The surah I've recited, Surah Ma'un. Last few ayah talks about a very beautiful thing. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاؤُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Jahannam is for those who actually offer their prayers, but they are lazy and they actually do show off. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala project all of us. It is not about those who are not praying at all. It is about those who are actually praying. But praying with laziness. Praying when you know they say, okay, time is gone. We are doing few things. We are busy in our you know, daily works and something. Oh, still I have plenty of time to pray my zahar. And then suddenly you see, oh, it's still one hour left. Then you see, oh, still 15 minutes left. I have to pray only four rakat. And then you see only five minutes left. Or 10 minutes left, then you go and you make wudu and you do quickly, very fast. This is known as, you know, tasahul. Means you are doing it out of laziness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. And the second portion, الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ Jahannam is for those kind of prayers, people, those who do pray, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they do show off. They do offer their daily prayers. But they want that people should know that I am someone who always come to masjid. I am someone who always, you know, I'm on time. They let everyone know. They actually show off. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Anyone who wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in right way, in happiness, anyone who wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with me. فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Then he must be doing good deeds. He must be acting upon all the fara'is. He must be offering his daily prayers. He must not be missing any kind of salah. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to say the last ayah of Surah, surah Al-Kahf. وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا But they should not commit any kind of shirk with the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Majority of the Mufassirin says, Shirk fillah is when you do consider someone else as God. But shirk fil ibadah means when you do worship, not only having intention of, you know, please men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you have slight intention or complete intention that people should notice me, that I am doing this good deed. We do that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala project all of us. And this is not about salah. They're not about, it. it's for all ibadah. Many of us, we do give. In the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, infaq fi sabira. Now, Quran has mentioned. Some people, they do it only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alladheena yunfiquuna amwaanahum billayli wa nahari sirran wa alaniya. Falahum ajruhum inda rabbihim. Wala khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahsirun. Few people, they do it only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In days and nights, openly, secretly. Allah says, their intention is good. Their intention is absolutely good. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a huge reward for them. But some, some people, وَالَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ رِعَاءَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا بِالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ Few people, they do give in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or they do support some people. They do support community. For what? رِعَاءَ النَّاسِ To show people. To get attention. To seek attention from people. Look, this is what I've do. This is what uh, I've done. This is what I do for the community. It can be very slight differences there. Either you are doing it to encourage people, or you are doing it to seek attention from people. But Allah knows. We do not. Allah knows what's the difference. No matter how slight differences, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. He knows. Inna Allah alimun sudur. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows every single thing. Whatever we do, say, يَعْلَمُ مَا تُسِرُّونَ وَمَا تُعْلِنُونَ Whatever we do uh, openly, and whatever we do secretly, whatever we do, keep in our heart, Allah knows. So if we, do, we are doing any kind of good amal, even in faq fi sabirullah, giving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if someone does that to seek attention from people, to, you know, uh, show off, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, cons- uh, do not even consider them as believer. It is actually came, uh, known as munafiqi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us, inshallah rahman. Another, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in beautiful ayah which is uh, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tubtiru sadaqatikum bil manni wal adha. O believers, do not destroy your sadaqat. Do not destroy your sadaqat, your infaq fi sabirillah. Your money which you have given to people, your charities, do not destroy. How? Bilmani wal other. When you actually show off. When you make when you actually ask that brother, okay, in front of five, six people, a few people online or anywhere. When you ask, okay, I've transferred this amount, did you get it? Did you get it? When you help someone, how was it? When you are actually showing off, you are making that person uncomfortable by asking. By putting, you know, some kind of favor on them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not destroy your sadaqah. It actually completely vanished. Not acceptable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us good Muslim. Have pure intention. What is the exact opposite of riya? Ikhlas. Khulus. Each and, each and every kind of ibadah and worship should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Complete in uh, each and every ibadah should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and khulus. Only khulus. فَعَبُدِ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Do worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with complete ikhlas, pure intention. Only for one reason, that I am doing this to get, uh, uh, you know, happiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm doing this to please my Lord, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we have such intention, then our, our a'mal, our action, they have more, you know, chances to get accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You all know what is going to happen on the day of judgment. Very famous hadith in Bukhari. Three type of people will be coming, uh, will be presented in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First, you know, uh, before everyone else. And one of them is Alim. Another one is Haji. And third one is Shaheed. And you know, the one who is knowledgeable person, Alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, his all the a'mal, his things will be presented. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, put him in Jahannam. He will say, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I was alim, I was, you know, helping people. I was always, come, uh, you know, uh, giving knowledge. I was always there for the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, you did all those things, but you did to, get, to seek attention from people. You did this to become, you know, nice to the community only. So community, you know, you are a very good person. You did nothing for me. You did nothing for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why whatever you wanted, I have given you in this dunya. Now you did nothing for me, so you will get nothing in akhirah. Nothing. And that person, Ali, will be put into Jahannam. And then the second person, Haji. The person who does Hajj. And that is one of the most hard ibadah. In the last couple of weeks, I've already mentioned that Hajj is known as Ummul Ibadah. Because it has all the forms of ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It needs our tongue to worship. It needs our body, our energy, our wealth, traveling, all kind of stuff. Umar ibadah, the most toughest one. That's why it is first only once in a life. It is not five times a day. It is not once in a year. It is once in a life. Because it is tough. A person, he will be presented in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after all of his, you know, a'mal, actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make decision and announce, put him into Jahannam. He will say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I did a hajj, the most toughest one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you did that. But why? You did that to seek attention from people. People should know this is haji. People should know this is someone who actually performed haji in a hardship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq to act any kind of ibadah with ikhlas, inshallah. Rahman. May Allah grant us ikhlas, inshallah. Third person, the most difficult one, shaheed. The one who became shaheed in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Think about it, the person who actually gave his entire life. His life. But he had intention, people should notice. People should know. When I die, they should remember me as shaheed. Shaheed Islam. And when you have such intention, this is narration that he, that person will be put into Jahannam too. Now, ponder upon our a'mal our action. We are not doing about Hajj and Shahadat. It's way, you know, uh, uh, away from us. 
we are such small action we are doing and still we have riya in that you know giving 10 dollar and still we have riya in that we are actually helping someone with very small amount of charity and we want that people should take picture of us and we should you know we should be noticed may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we do have ikhlas in our amal in our actions inshallah rahman let me quote some beautiful ahadith inshallah we'll go uh, and we will see what rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says about this as i said فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Anybody who wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in good way to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then what should, what should he do? فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا He must be doing good deed. أَعْمَلِ صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا He must not be committing any kind of shirk when you do ibadah to say uh, to get uh, you know attention from people rasulullah was asked about this there's a narration in muslim imam muhammad ibn hanbal hadith number 23692 rasulullah sallallahu alaihi says i'm afraid of riya uh, i'm afraid of shirk asghar in my ummah i'm afraid that my ummah my people they will be committing uh, shirk asghar shirk fil ibadah Sahabai Kiram Ridwanullahi Ta'ala and Ibn they asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is shirk asghar? Rasulullah replied, Riya. Riya. Showing off. When you do not have pure intention, when you do any kind of ibadah or any kind of action to seek attention from people, this is actually Riya. And this is so sad that in today's world we do see, not only in ibadah, in our daily lives, we are actually going towards the side that people should, you know, notice me. You know, look at the, you know, everyone, our youngsters, our youth, even us, you know, everyone. What we do, we actually want that people should notice or how, you know, uh, luxurious car or, you know, the um, important, you know, uh, expensive car I do have. You know, that's what people think. You know, what kind of dressing I'm doing, what kind of branded clothes I'm wearing. What kind of, you know, branded things I'm using. This is what people want. We are actually uh, going through this side that we want to be brand conscious. Okay? Even men, women, brothers and sisters, everybody. Why? So we can look better in others, I know, I, uh, other side. People should notice us. But I would say, we can be better only with our khlaq and character. We can be better only with our a'mal salihah. We can be better in the side of anyone with one thing, that if we have taqwa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Surah Maryam, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ سَيَجْعَلُوا لَهُمُ الرَّحْمَانُ وُدَّا If you do a'mal salihah, if you do good deed, if you have taqwa, if you have righteousness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ar-Rahman, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who creates love about you in the community. You do not have to do such things. You do not have to do, you know, uh, branding, br- uh, being, you know, brand conscious or something. No matter if we live in simplicity, we have, you know, very simple cars, very simple houses, very simple, you know, lifestyle. Still, if we have good character, people do remember. Oh, that brother he is very good guy. He always, you know, meet us with smile. He always, you know, greet us. That's how we should live. And I would say, look at the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What kind of life Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has chosen. If he would have asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him this dunya as luxurious life, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have got every single thing. But what did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam choose? Simplicity. Simplicity. If he is eating in the morning, then he has nothing in the evening. So now Aisha, Yaduna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha says, I've never seen Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at food twice a day. There's so many days we see that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not even having food for a couple of weeks regularly. The most strongest person, the leader of our ummah, Sayyidul Mursalin, Khatamun Nabiyyin. I'm talking about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I'm not asking you to do you know that way. If Allah subhanahu wa taala has granted us to that, but never ever have such intention. That I will wear $500, $1,000, $5,000 shoes. Why? Not because I am feeling comfortable in that. 
just because of this that people should know I'm wearing Michael Jordan. People should know this is, you know, I'm having. This is for my sisters too. Please do not buy, you know, Gucci or Louis Vuitton bag just because, uh, you know, so other sisters, they should know this. If you like it, you can get it. But not because of this intention that people should notice. Oh, this is someone, you know, uh, she's using, you know, uh, that kind of bag. That brand actually. She's not going any other brand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us mukhlis. The one who has pure intention, inshallah, Rahman. Khalis. Khalis and live and simple, inshallah, Rahman. Let me quote one beautiful and big narration, inshallah, Rahman. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Narration of Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mubarak, radiallahu ta'ala an, and he says, he is narrated by Sayyidina, got narration from Sayyidina Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He asked him, could you please tell me a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so I can improve. Sayyidina so Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu started crying. He started crying. And then he started crying like uh, for a longer period and I thought maybe he's not going to stop now. The General Qadr Sahabi, Sayyidina Mu'az, Ibn Jabal, he actually, he one of those fortunate Sahaba who was actually shared the company on camel right with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then he says, O oh, Mu'az Ibn Jabal, I am seeing you, I just ask you one simple question and you are crying. He says Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told me one thing very important. I just can't remember that hadith. And that is why I'm crying. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, uh, then he says to, uh, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to him, today I'm going to teach you something. If you'll keep in mind, you will get a lot of benefits from it. But if you will lose it, then no anything is going to help you. You will get nothing to help you out. And then Sayyidina Mu'adh, he continues. And he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created this earth and this, you know, dunya, entire dunya. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created angels before them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all these heavens, you know, uh, all these heavens, after each heaven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created angels as responsible. Then he continues, whenever a person, he does any kind of good deed, any kind of good a'mal, good actions, and that angel actually take his a'mal, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crossing each and every heaven. You know, seven heavens are there, so each and every, crossing all those heavens. So when, a per, when an angel, he carries our a'mal, and when he reaches to the first heaven, the angel over there, the responsible, he stops him. Who are you? He said, I'm an angel and I'm carrying an a'mal of so and so. And then he will say, uh, when he will look at his a'mal, it will have a lot of shiny a'mal. You know, actions so shiny, like, you know, sun, so good deeds. And then he will say, these are not accepted. He says, why? He says, I am the angel of ghibat. And he were doing all of good deeds, but he never stopped doing ghibat of people. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked me to stop his a'mal and all of his actions will be rejected. You go back. Then he narrates, let's say somebody did not do ghibat. Let's say, and he passed the first heaven, and he reached to the second one, and he uh, knocked the door. Who are you? I am an angel, and I'm carrying an a'mal of so and so. Okay, show me his a'mal. His a'mal will be so shiny, and he will say, "Still, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has asked me to stop and reject all the a'mal." He says, "Why?" He says, "I am the angel of proud and arrogance. Anybody who has kibr, takabbur, gamand, arrogance, his a'mal will be rejected." I am do seeing a lot of good actions are here. But you know, he has arrogant when he was doing those a'mal. Whenever he was doing anything good, he always had attitude. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked me to stop him. And let's say somebody was a good person. And he passed that uh, uh, too. And he reached to upper level. The third one, there's a, that farishta, that angel, he will be carrying good deed. And it, he will have a lot of sadaqah, uh, daily prayers and the fasting and it will create a huge noor that all the angels they will be surprised to, to see that but the angel of you know uh, fakhr he will come and he will say that uh, i do notice he used to harm people because of his amal his action he used to consider other uh, lower than that he used to consider others nothing why because he has some good amal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rejecting all of his a'mal. He cannot move forward. Then he will go. 
further and then you know uh, his a'mal will be carrying and i am so and so he will have you know hajj tasbih and so many actions it says his a'mal will be like you know the bees you know the bees make noise so many tasbihat that angel will say allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked me to stop him because he was someone who always liked to be praised by others people should you know notice me and they should be praising me oh karisa mashallah you are doing this oh my brother mashallah you are doing this and he was someone who always liked to listen from others people should praise me when you have such intention a'mal will be rejected then on the sixth one when he reach his a'mal will be completely you know uh, higher a'mal and uh, beautiful actions then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the angel came uh, will come and he will stop i am the angel of hasad jealousy this person he might he could be doing a lot of good deed but he would he had a lot of hasad jealousy for others that's why his many other a'mal they will be rejected and then if somebody passed that he has more good deed and he will uh, reach you know to other level and another angel he will say i am do seeing namaz hajj zakat so many a'mal but this is someone who had hard heart his heart ashaddu qaswa is that kal hijarati aw ashaddu qaswa means his heart was very hard whenever he used to see people they are going through some hardship he was never easy on them he was never rahim on them he was never you know kind towards them he said okay that's their problem as long as i am okay i do not worry about them that's why his own good uh, good action good amal they will be rejected and the last one rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says sayyidina muaz ibn jabal is narrating this narration he says and the last one he says when someone who has let's say all those good deeds will reach to the seventh heaven and angels they will see uh, fasting they will see nafqa they will see zakat they will see ishtihad they will see taqwa and his amal will be so much and then another angel will come and he will say put all of his amal put all of his amal on his face why because this person allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this person his amal will be rejected because he wanted to stop people's good things when people they let's say they are about to have anything good good thing in their life and this person he used to find way that the other should be in harm and i should be okay he was not happy with others happiness my dear brothers and sisters look at the narration of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us all we need is one thing what is that ikhlas khulus we must do our you know good deed for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get the you know uh, uh, to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only no matter what kind of good deed we do even if we do amal salihah quran reading infaq fi sabilillah zakat hajj any kind of thing if we are doing it for the sake of people people should notice people should know this brother he is you know a great person he has you know great voice he has great this he has a lot of money and he, and he is doing this and that my dear brothers we do not know maybe our amal will be rejected quran says about this some people they will be coming on the day of judgment and in surah surah al isra to beautiful ayah man kana yurid al ajilah ta'jalla lahu fiha ma nasha the one who wants results of their amal in this dunya Allah says I give everything in this dunya everything whatever they want if they want you know fame no you know uh, interaction if they want you know intention you know uh, from people will give them but thumma ja'alna lahu jahannam then we'll give nothing on in here after wa man arada al akhirata wa sa'a laha sa'yaha wa huwa mu'min fa ulaika kana sa'yuhum mashkura but if anybody wants to do any amal actions to get happiness and please me in akhirah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we will give him his amal will be accepted inshallah and he will get his jaza in akhirah inshallah so it is up to us what do we want if we want that we should be good in akhirah then we should do our actions our amal our ibadah our worships our infaq our saying our words our salah our hajj our zakat everything should be for akhirah and if we want to do something to seek attention in this dunya then we may get attention in this dunya but we will have nothing in hereafter 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us ikhlas, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us good Muslim, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us khair of this dunya. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us khair in he, in he after. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, inshallah. Rahman.